Hello, my lovely butterfly nesters. Lovely black butterfly here for another video. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you to the butterfly's nest. But if you haven't subscribed, you can click that subscription button and then click the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. If you're returning to my channel, welcome back. So today, guys, we are doing another, as you can see, Misfits Markets unboxing. Um, I missed a couple of weeks of my Misfits Market. There was some error in the billing, um, but I finally got a box. And this time I've got a bigger box than what I normally get because one of my lovely butterfly nesters started their own subscription using my discount code. They received a discount and I received a discount. So I took advantage of that discount and ordered a bit of bigger box today. But before we get to the unboxing, I want to give you guys a couple of cooking tips. Um, remember when I did the chicken and shrimp um, fajitas? Well, I used orange, yellow, red, and green peppers in that in that um fajita normally uh, well not normally normally i do buy the actual fresh peppers but the last couple of times i made fajitas i bought frozen uh only because when i buy the whole peppers i mean that's four nice size peppers and i normally don't get to use the peppers before they spoil so what i learned recently was that you can freeze your own peppers you don't even have to cook them first these were also the peppers that i used in my chili video i took them out of the freezer right out of the bag frozen chopped them up and added them to my chili recipe the second thing is I normally always order cremini mushrooms or baby bella mushrooms um, in my Misfits Market box as an add-on. Well, because I didn't purchase or I didn't get the box because of the billing the last couple of weeks, I purchased some baby bella mushrooms from Walmart. Now, did you also know that you can freeze mushrooms? Now, these you do have to cook. So, after I... I'm done with this unboxing. I'm going to slice these up, um, toss them around in some um, citric acid so that they remain fresh. Then I'm going to saute them, flash freeze them, and then bag them. So, I just wanted to give you guys those two little tips. So, we are going to go ahead... With the unboxing. I'm going to stand up for a minute. <clears throat> so let's see what we have today, guys. This is the... Oh, this craziness with the paper. Wow, it's just kind of falling out. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what we've got. We have, whoa, maybe ordering the larger size wasn't a good idea. It's so much it's so much produce in here. So I've got two things of organic grape tomatoes. I've got two bunches of scallions. Oh, this one is a little rotten. Or is it rotten or is it just misfit? I don't. Oh, this is a beet. This is, okay. I'm sorry. I thought this was something else. But this is a beet. 
Not sure if it's golden or red. I can't see. So I don't know what color that is. I've got some apples. Which means whatever color the beet is, I'm going to be juicing the apples with the beet. I have got some these are fingerling sweet potatoes. Those are actually really cute. What the heck is this? Is this kale? I can't even see. I don't have on my glasses. I can't see what this is. It looks like kale, but it's such a small bunch of kale. But I guess that's okay. Oh, no, I got two of them, so I got two of them, too. Here go some more fingerling potatoes. Some more beets. As I was saying, whatever kind of beets they are, they're going to get juice with the apples. I have got a bunch of celery. Now, this celery looks pretty beat up. But again, guys, this is Misfits Market. So, whatever comes in the box, that's what I have. Beat up, strange looking, whatever. It's because they won't take them in the grocery store. Here's some more of the fingerling potatoes. Some more apples. I'm trying to get to this kale. This other something sitting on it. And not letting me get my kale out. So there is no other bunch of kale. Guess what kind of greens we having this weekend? Looks like I've got golden and red beets. Because that definitely looks like a red beet. Wait a minute. I don't think this is a beet at all. And this is definitely strange looking. You know what I think this is? This is a pomegranate. I forgot I ordered pomegranates. And I ordered pomegranates. But these are strange looking pomegranates. Um, because I actually like not only apple juice with my beets, I also like the mixed pomegranate in my beets as well. Yep, that's what I think these are. Here's another one. When I was wanting some sweet potatoes, with that soul food meal, done fingerling. I've also, looks like I've got a small bunch of collard greens. We might be mixing greens this week. Okay. You know what they should do? I'm going to tell you what they should be doing. They should. I see a little piece of paper here. Where is this? No, that's the pack. I thought I saw some. I know what I ordered. But they should definitely give you a list of what's in the box. Because I'm confused by some of this stuff. I've got an onion. Hang on. Let's see if I can move some of this stuff. Because I need to take this box down because I'm running out of room.
Because I am definitely confused by some of the stuff that's in the box. I don't know what it is because what I think I see are actual pomegranates that look like pomegranates. I've got some avocados. Some more. I've got a mango. Oh, now this mango is kind of so the last mango I had was kind of green. This is this is a mango I would eat, not juice. Okay. They gave me a whole crap load of these single and sweet potatoes. That, I know for sure, is a pomegranate. And that's an awful small pomegranate. These were add-ons. So they're not, I don't think they're quite worth the price that I paid for them if these are the actual pomegranates. And these, I think, are a golden beet. It's not really worth the price I paid for the pomegranates. Because they are awful small. There are some onions. Some more apples. Another pomegranate. Wow. Look at that. Look at those carrots. Aren't they pretty? Those are pretty. With the greens on them. Okay, I've got another mango. This one's green. This one might get juiced. That's some kind of beat. More pomegranates. Okay, maybe it is with the amount of pomegranates that I actually got. Maybe it is worth the add-on price. Because I want to say they were like $1.99, which was why I got them. So, 
looks like we're going to have some fingerling sweet potato candy yams. And I've got some limes. One more avocado. One more lime. And a couple more of the fingerling sweet potatoes. So guys, that's an awful big haul of produce just for little old me. Wow, look at all this. What is I gonna do? That's a lot of produce. So at least y'all know what y'all gonna be seeing me eat this weekend. We gonna have us some greens and we gonna have us some candy amps or some, some kind of sweet potatoes. So tell me what, leave me a comment down below. What do you think of this haul this week? Look at all these potatoes. I'm still pulling tomato, uh, potatoes out of everywhere. These greens, the um, the bundle of greens are, are pretty small, so these may actually end up getting mixed this week. Tell me what you think. Two bunches of kale and a, um, yeah, two bunches of curly kale and a and a bunch of uh small. Little tender bunch of uh, collard greens. Tell me what you think. Should I mix them? So, I want to thank you guys for stopping by the Butterfly's Nest and watching me unbox my produce. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below what you think of this haul this, for this week. Remember, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, lovely black butterfly spreading her greens. <laughs> yeah.